The Small Business Show, episode 145, for Wednesday, November 15th, 2017. Folks, and welcome to the Small Business Show here at businessshow.co, the show by, for, and about small business owners. Sponsor for this episode is Storyblocks, where at storyblocks.com slash SBS, you get their triple play bundle, their triple bundle for just $149. We will tell you more about that in a moment here in Durham, New Hampshire. I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I am Shannon Jean. How are you? I'm good, man. How's it going? How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. We're starting to get a little, we're, it was 46 degrees here today, which, uh, you know, we pay a little extra for good weather out here and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a fee yeah. and, uh, it comes in many shapes and sizes. And, um, we've talked about some of those on the show, you know, the taxes and charges yeah. and fees of California, That's but right. yeah, it was, it's getting a little chilly. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. And we're even recording <laughs> this, uh, maybe a week earlier than you're yeah. hearing it. So yeah. That's right. So yeah. we're, uh, yeah, it was in the sixties here today. So, wow. See, that's crazy. It is weird. Yeah, yeah. We've had a really weird fall so far. Interesting. Uh, yeah. It'll be like, you know, cold 40s, having a fire in the fireplace every night. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, it's 70 degrees. Like, oh, OK. Wow. Yep. Got a different clothes. Let's go. Okay. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. So that's cool. So, hey, uh, one of the things I was rolling around topics for the show and things to talk about. And, you know, if, if you if you're a business owner. Uh, at, at some point, someone, I, I was looking at my notes and, you know, someone is either going to threaten to sue you or they're going to sue you. And I thought, Hey, we should talk about this on the show, uh, since it kind of comes up from time to time, you yeah. get some kind of demand letter or different things. And, and we can, you know, let, let, I, I thought we'd start about, um, it, talking about how to reply based on what type of person is either threatening to sue you or is already suing you. That's um, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, and what I mean by that is, you know, hopefully you're not getting sued by a customer that, well, but maybe you are. Maybe you, you are. Happen. Yeah. You could certainly could be, I've never had that happen. Well, actually uh, we'll, I'll back that up. We'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. Uh, a, a few examples. Uh, unfortunately I have a few, but you know, after 25 years in, in business, it's, I guess that's, I have a pretty good rate, but uh, a ratio, but you know, if it's a customer suing you, you, you I would imagine, you know, you, you're, I would say you're going to uh, reply a certain way versus like a supplier, which maybe you're going to be a little more hardcore on or something or an entity versus like the IRS or, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's, uh, it's your reply is kind of uh, contextual, if you will. Uh, meaning that you, you need to get some advice on, do you want to, are you trying to keep things friendly? Cause so you can resolve them in a quick manner. And, and maybe it also depends on what they're asking for. Right. 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 Um, you know, hopefully no one's threatening to sue you if it's some very inexpensive issue that you could resolve by just giving them their money back or something like that. Yeah. Um, well, it, it, it uh, you know, you said not, something to me, um, Years ago, uh, more than a decade ago, maybe a decade wow. and a half ago, uh, where and and uh, up until actually very recently, I've never been sued. It's, our businesses have have never ever been sued, which yeah. I, I suppose is a good thing. You know, that's it. That, yeah, yes. almost twenty years in. Um, I, personally, I've been sued once, and that's actually still ongoing. It's but it's about a business thing. It's it's really just a personality clash, and uh, it probably shouldn't talk a whole lot about it because it's still pending. Yes. But, but, uh, but that's the only time I've personally been sued or I or either personally or with the business. But you told me something years ago when I was in a position where we were really against a wall with somebody and uh, they sort of held the keys to the ad serving engine that, that we used uh, in our business oh, yeah. and, and weren't going to let yeah, us nice. use it anymore, even though we had made a deal with them. We helped them develop it and they said they'd give us a license and, New people came in and said, uh, you know, uh, tough. We don't no like more license. Yeah, we don't like that <laughs> yeah. deal. Yes, that's yes. a bad deal for us now. Like, well, yeah, yeah no kidding now. Right. That's, yeah, that's why I've we made a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and and uh, and I was I, I had no idea what to do. And I was on the phone with the guy and I just kept pushing at him, which was totally the wrong thing to do. But, I, you know, I was green. I didn't know. 
And I'm like, man, you just like, you can't treat me like this. Like, dude, we had a deal. I was just appealing to, to logic and, and human nature. And there was no responsiveness from him whatsoever. And he said, well, it's free country. Sue me. And it was like a light went off in my head. It was like, of course, that's what you do when this happens. And I met, we had deals on the web going at the time. Yes. And I mentioned it to you as I kind of had this realization, like, yes, that's exactly what I should do. If he, had, if he hadn't said that to me, I don't think we ever would have sued that company because I never, it just wouldn't have crossed my mind. And yep. uh, I would have just taken it and figured out another solution and it would have been less good. And, you know, who knows where the business would have gone. And I, I t so I, I, you know, as, as one does, you go to your friends and, and sure. uh, for counsel and I, I went to you. And you, and in this, I think we, it was like, it was going to happen. I was just telling you, Hey, yeah. Uh, and you said, making a long story, slightly shorter, man, lawsuits are like spiders. He's like, mm -hmm. it sounds like you have a good case, yeah. but it doesn't matter. It's going to get into every aspect of your life. That's correct. And it's true. Whether you're suing someone or being sued, once you're locked in on that, and this is like, especially true of me because I have a very, I, like the law is a hobby of mine. People tell me I should have been an attorney, but, but I'm not, uh, right. but I like the law. I like, I like how, uh, how it can be interpreted. I like how clear it is. I mean, there's a lot of things about it that I really like. And so I can get way too deep into, into these things and the nuances yeah. of it and all of that. And, but, but even if you're not like me, it's still going to, you know, the stress of it, the, the uh, it, yes yep it they drag yeah. out forever they do and you you know you just when you have sort of freed your mind of it it's right back in front of you and it you, is and it's an emergency now it, yeah you know, I, I would argue that uh you, you should do everything within your uh power to to either not have someone sue you, yep. obviously, yep. or not sue anybody else. Yep. Because it, it, I think the number one thing it does is it requires you to take your, your eye off your business. It totally takes your eye off the ball. Yeah. And yeah. there's just no way around it. And not only there, I mean, there's tons of other negatives, right? It's extremely expensive. I mean, if somebody owes you $5,000, calling an attorney and tell them you're going to sue them, whatever, it, it, it's a lost cause. If, if you have a good attorney, they're going to say, look, you know, unless somebody owes you about thirty or $40,000, yeah. it's probably not worth it to have me involved. Right. Now, there's lots of, I'm sure, lots of, uh, you know, guys out there or attorneys out there that would take your money, but you're going to wind up, I think, upside down. And I think that also the yeah, worst thing- If it's thing not, to, in, in my yeah. opinion, if it's not a six-figure potential yeah. judgment, it's it's not worth it because you're going to lose even even if you 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 know like you said at thirty or forty thousand dollars right okay you get the money you're, you're, yeah it's, it, you're gonna be you're gonna be even right yeah you're, by the time maybe, you pay your attorney but yeah, but even if you get them to pay your attorney and you still you walk out with your thirty or forty grand like how much of your time did you put in to earn that thirty or forty grand yeah that's right versus what you could have done with that time elsewhere I, yeah, you know and, it, yes, you've got to yeah, be against sure. a wall there there needs to be it it, it really kind of needs to be the last resort i the opportunity I costs are are tremendous that's and, the key opportunity yeah and cost. The, the, yep. there's a second part that most people don't think about even if you win then you have to collect and you could have the best judgment in the world but if someone doesn't want to pay you they are going to expand a, an incredible amount of energy and, you know, weave this way and that way. And it can be very difficult to collect on a judgment. Uh, That's why yeah. there, are, there are companies out there that will buy your judgments at, at a discounted rate, you know, and uh, say, I mean, I've seen advertisement for them. You have a judgment, we'll come buy it, pay, cash you out, and we'll go collect mm -hmm. because they know it is very difficult it's a full -time to, job. to collect. It is a full-time job. Yeah, you... It, one one piece of advice I, I will give uh, to those of you listening is find out what the collection laws and the debt laws are like in the state where the person that or company that you're suing exists. It doesn't matter where you sue them. It matters where they are and or where their bank is right uh, it, in it, when it comes time to collect you you could be in the in the least debt you could sue them in the least debtor friendly state but if they live in a debtor friendly state it, that that's what matters 
And a lot yep. of states, you know, uh, you can have a judgment against somebody for their entire life and literally no legal recourse to actually collect on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It, it's, it can be very, very difficult. Yeah. Talk um, to your attorney about that. I, that's right. I got a judgment paid once. Um, and my, my attorney still to this day says, I, I can't, like, it doesn't make sense to me that, that you got all that money. Ah, that's uh, great. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was like, you, you know, we, we sued somebody that was being egotistical and, and stupid, which was the whole reason we had to sue them because they wouldn't talk. And, uh, this was not the ad server thing. This was a different thing. Sure. And, um, and, and they ignored everything. They, wow. I mean, they never yeah. showed up to court. Like they ignored the whole process and, and that's, and, and so then we collected on them because they ignored that too. Um, but that's actually a, a, a good thing to talk through is, is the process of what that looks like so that if you're on the receiving end of these things, you know what it looks like early on. So you mentioned uh, at the beginning of the show, a demand letter. Yep. And you know what? Uh, I want to take a minute. And let's talk about our sponsor here first. And sure. Then we will talk through that process. That sound good, man? <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. Um, our, our sponsor for this episode is Storyblocks, where at storyblocks.com slash SBS, you can go and sign up for what they call their triple bundle. So Storyblocks is three services in one. It's you get images, you get video, and you get audio. And you can use these things any way you desire. They are all royalty free. You can use it for commercial stuff. You can use it for personal projects. You need an image for your website. Yeah, you need Facebook ads. Great. Facebook ads. Right. Yeah. You, you need a video like for B-roll behind a, a promo video that you're putting together. You need audio for that same thing. All of it is right there. Uh, there's 400,000 images, 150,000 videos, 100,000 audio clips. And here's the thing. Normally, each one of these costs $149 a year, which, let me tell you, is very, very aggressively priced. Well, because we're sending you there, you get all three of them for $149. For your we're first year. We're helping you live your charmed life. It That's is right. living your charmed life. Now... Here, I'm going to extend things out a little bit here, Shannon, because you yep. have a, a very relatable story topic. I do. I do. About why someone might want to sign up for one of these services. You want to tell yeah, us so, story quickly for it? Yeah. So, as a small business, you're always looking for images and graphics and things for your blog, your Facebook, whatever you're doing. And if you have employees, well, they uh, are out there doing those things too. So, I got a letter from. Uh, one of these image places I, I that you know I won't mention any names. Thankfully, here. it wasn't um, Storyblocks. That's no, a good thing. it was not. It was some giant corporate place, and uh, they said, "Hey, um, you've been using this uh, image on your in your blog for something like eight years. Uh, we've calculated that it's been seen like thirty six thousand times, and based on that, you owe us uh, about ten thousand dollars." <sighs> And I, I first I looked, I was like, well, this is ridiculous. And like, I'm, I'm kind of a procrastinator about things like this. Uh, I tossed it in the corner of my desk and I'm like, well, that's stupid. And I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to do anything with that. Uh, but it, it kept kind of accelerating and, and it eventually got this demand letter said, hey, uh, if you don't pay this, we're, we're going to sue you. And so I realized I had to pick up the phone. Um, and the thing about it is this picture was a photo of a plug in the wall. Oh, that's all it was. But you could have taken my, it yourself. Absolutely. But it was but easier at the time for one of my employees, a great young guy, uh, you know, who was at the time no longer employed by me, but he was a graphics guy and he was getting things going up and he went up and did a Google search or something like that and grabbed it off the web and and pushed it out to, you know, it's, and it sat in the blog forever. And even though I had already deleted it when I, uh, you know, I got this letter, I went and I, was, I can't even find it what it was. I start talking with them. I, okay, great. Here's this picture of a plug in the wall. Uh, and I, I got it. I got rid of it off the thing, but it didn't matter. It doesn't, right? it doesn't matter. Well, here's the yeah. thing. If you, if you had had a license for that, the That's way, right. st the way story blocks works is if you, let's say you do the year subscription, and you take a picture of the the plug or whatever it is, you put yep. it on your website. Even once your subscription expires, 
that image it's because, yours forever. yeah it's yours yeah. forever because you got it during the valid term of your subscription it's yours forever check it out go to storyblocks.com s-t-o-r-y-b-l-o-c-k-s dot com slash s-b-s because we're the small business show and that's where you get the deal to get the triple bundle for 149 bucks our thanks to storyblocks for yeah, sponsoring cool. this episode yeah yeah and and that brings up a good point is you know when you had something small like that do, do you even need an attorney in the first place? Right. And it, uh, I mean, thankfully I was able to negotiate it down to for like 800 bucks and I still was, you know, had to like bite my tongue as I was oh, writing yeah. the check and oh, it just, it just really, it just really made me angry. And you said something earlier I want to go back to about ego. Um, it, if again, if you have a good attorney, one of the first things they're going to tell you is get your ego out of this situation. Yes. Uh, the lawsuit, the demand. And also, I, I, I hate to say this, but you have to get your sense of justice out of it too. You do. I, and, and that's my yeah. biggest problem is I yes. seek justice with this it, stuff. And you can totally get justice if you want to pay for it. Correct. So if you want to write a big check and you're going to fund your attorney just to drill down, <laughs> you absolutely may be right. But a, but a, a but good you will, attorney, you will lose. <laughs> you can just lose easily lose because yeah. that's correct. Or because again, a good attorney is going to tell you, "Hey, Dave, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we're going to get a jury that's going to have this, or maybe it just goes to the judge and he has a bad day and eats, you know, has a bad breakfast and doesn't feel good and he's angry. You just don't know. You don't know. And and so it could totally go against you, and you know. Again, you have to make it. You have to make a business decision, yes. not a decision about how angry you are no, or how emo- your ego emotion is. has to leave, and it, it a, has to leave. A good attorney will be like a therapist, especially yeah. at that stage of things. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A bad attorney is going to say, "Yeah, man, let's take it to him. Write me a uh, you know ten thousand dollar retainer check, yeah. and we'll go. We'll start here. Yeah. Um, oh, that know. won't be the end of it." Let yeah, me tell that, you. that's right. That's right. So yeah, if that, you have a, some, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say that lawsuit where we um, we wound up getting the judgment. The judgment was for uh, about one hundred and twenty grand of of actual damages. And, and we collected the whole thing and another 30 grand of legal fees. Uh, but, you know, we were out of pocket that 30 grand until we got the judgment settled. Right. So we yeah. had to pay for that all the way through. Well, and it can put you out of business. Well, yeah, it, it really can. If you're, your cash flow, we've talked about it here before, you yeah. know, critical cash is and, and it, it takes a lot of cash and it takes, you know, so much of your attention and your stress and yep. this kind of thing. And, and it, it can really just impact you in such a negative manner that, again, you have to I think you have to look at it as a business decision. And it may just make sense to even though you just do not want to do it is to sit down and go, you know what, I'm going to have to just. Gotta We're going to have to, I'm just going to have to eat it or I'm going to have to write a check for something I don't want to write. But uh, you have to, you know, balance those things out together. It's, it, it's really important. Yeah. Um, All right. So let's you know, talk through, let's talk through the process because we yeah, promised them to do it. So yes. the, the demand letter, this is a, this is a, a smart tactic and anyone who is being properly counseled will almost certainly start with a demand letter. Really, they'll yes. start with just sending you a bill or, or asking for whatever it is that, that they want. And when you say, I don't believe I owe you that or, you know, That's right. uh, w- whatever, even if you say to them, it's a free country, sue me. You do not expect them to draft the lawsuit the next day and and serve you. You will get a demand letter. And the reason you'll get a demand letter is because they're going to want to try and sue you for attorney's fees. That's right. And in yeah. most states, uh, you need to serve a demand letter first, certified mail, so you can prove that it was sent. And in most states, it's 30 days. You give somebody 30 days to uh, to respond to the demand letter. And if they don't or, it, or, you know, if it's not worked out in that 30 days, regardless of whether you've talked or not, then... On day 31, you can file that lawsuit and include in it, you know, suing for customary and reasonable attorney's fees. Right. It makes sense. Again, whether you'll actually get that in your judgment and then whether you'll get that judgment in your bank account, those are very big ifs floating out there. But without without the demand letter, you can't even include that 
in the lawsuit. Like the, the court will say, no, 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 you, you, you didn't give them the opportunity. You know, you sued him. You didn't ask yeah. first in any official capacity. That's right. That's right. And, and, and I think when you get that demand letter is, you know, depending upon how, how, what's going on, it's certainly worth giving your attorney a call. That's the day. I, yeah. I would say when you when the demand letter arrives, if you haven't spoken to your attorney about this, that's the day to to get, yeah. uh, you know, get get on the phone with your attorney. You do have some time. You've got 30 days. The law provides you, you that, you know, it's not an emergency, but it is urgent. And you got to figure out a strategy and maybe start talking, you know, have your attorney talk with their attorney. If if it's impossible for you and whomever it is that's suing you to have that business conversation, you have the two attorneys have right. the business conversation. And a lot of times, you know what, that everybody knows what happens next. And, you know, the only people that like it are the attorneys. But if they're working for you, they're not going to push for that. Uh, you know, they're going to feel it out and see if yeah. they can see if they can make it work after and, that. And you, you, um, you file the suit yep. and, and then I'll just talk through the process do quickly it, and, th and then we can get there. Uh, after that, you, they, you file the suit a again, you have a period of time where, where you can and should answer. Generally, that's another 30 days. If you don't answer in those 30 days, as these people that we sued in my example that's, before. That's bad. That's didn't, bad. Well, then <laughs> then all you do is you file for a judgment. Yep. And you will get a judgment because the judge will say, yeah, they didn't answer me either. So the judge writes you your judgment. And then what you do is well, if, if, they're, if you're being sued, you answer as quickly as possible and you apologize to the judge. But if you are the one doing the suing, you sit as quietly as you possibly can for yet another 30 days for that judgment to become a final judgment. And after that, that takes a lot to undo a final judgment. I mean, a judge has yes. to be the one to grant it. But even the judge has to have it's not just the judge's um, prerogative. There needs to be a compelling piece of evidence or a compelling reason for the judge to overturn it uh, because, you know, you've put in all this time and, and, yes. and you've, you've, you've followed the process. Presumably they haven't. Um, and, and then once you get that, then you can go and start the collection process, which is, you know, start sort of like go back to ground zero and, and start all over again. Yeah. But uh, so what, one thing I want to yeah, point out is yeah. just like, you know, you, you don't want to call, uh, and start interviewing accountants on April 1st when you need to file your taxes. You also, if you can avoid it, don't want to be searching for an attorney when you've gotten that demand letter. Uh, you were much better positioned if you already have one, you know, yeah. at least that you've spoken to, maybe they help you set up or, or gave you some advice on how to structure your business, or maybe you just reached out and you've, you, you, you know, you know, somebody or someone you've talked to before, so you can have a, it's a different discussion when they know you versus, oh, who are you and what is going on? They, they don't have any backstory. No, they don't have any backstory. I, yeah, I and, always went to, uh, you know, I had a lot of clients in my consulting business. And so yeah. that's who I would go to. Sure. Like, I did a lot of work for attorneys. But, it, it you know, you have this relationship and they know, all right, yeah. this person, my experience with this person is that you know, he or she is not unreasonable and they're more willing to consider That's taking correct. your case. That's correct. Now, they may refer you to someone else who's a specialist correct. in a particular area of, of law that you need help with, um, which is fine. But again, oh, that's they, good. It's, yeah. it, it's a soft referral. They're, oh, hey, call this guy and he'll tell him I you know, referred that kind of thing. Um, and so so that that's important is if you can. And we've talked about this before, you know, it's kind of on your board of advisors. Uh, you, you should have this have this attorney in uh, there to answer these kinds of questions that you may have from time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he says, oh, don't respond. Or I've had it in the past where he say, look, you write a letter, you respond to it. I'll review your response, add a couple of things and then send it. And that's much you know uh, less expensive than if he drafts a reply. Yep. And sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes, you know, you say, hey, you know, go pound sand or you don't have all the facts or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, good, good to have some advice along the way too. If, if you think this is serious and you get this demand letter and things are not, are not progressing, you know, maybe the other guy has, doesn't, hasn't got his ego out of it or he right. is seeking his, his own sense of justice or whatever it is. So you think, wow, we're going to get sued here. It's probably a, a, a time to talk to your insurance company because you may have insurance coverage 
it, it, all at all different levels. If at a very basic level, you may have insurance coverage that would cover the, your attorney fees. And if you have that, it, it changes the dynamic, right? Totally. Uh, the attor- If the insurance company uh, agrees that they should be uh, based on the insurance that you've been paying them, they should come in and they have a duty to defend you. And that can change everything. And your your cash flow will be protected uh, because they're getting things are getting picked up by that. Uh, and, and you need to let them know. Yeah. You definitely yeah that know. also mean may mean and, and oftentimes likely does mean that your insurance company will assign an attorney to the case. You may, that's you right. may not get to pick your own yes. attorney, but that's OK. Like that's if, fine. If yep. I'm if I'm and I, thankfully I've never been in this scenario, but if I'm suing somebody and suddenly, you know, my attorney calls me and says, oh, yeah, I, you know, I heard from their insurance company's attorney. It's like, oh, no, like yeah. this, is, this might That's not right. go the way I want it to go. Although the yeah. insurance company wants to keep their costs down, too. So they maybe do. it works out. You get a settlement. No, they're, and they're, they're high. Yeah, they're highly motivated to settle. Yes. And they don't have any ego and no. <laughs> any no. sense of justice. Insurance just companies go, are all business. All business. That, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And, you know, along the way, too, is things start happening. Letters start coming. You might start getting phone calls. I think it's important that if you have employees, you start thinking about if and and if you feel you need to talk to someone and mention it to them, maybe your managers, supervisors, whatever, uh, what you want to tell them about this. If it's going to be disruptive for them, maybe you're going to be out of the office uh, a little bit more in the next 90 days as you go down this road and maybe have to fight this battle. Uh, and, and you want them to know what's going on because yeah. it, it's I never this good. Is both sides of the equation, whether you're suing somebody or being yeah. sued. Oh you yeah. Don't, you don't want to bury this stuff under the rug. You don't want to no. make it an obsessive part of your business because you actually have other business to do. That's but, right. But you, you want everybody aware uh, because there's yeah, going to be some things need... they can't say. There's Correct. going to be companies that you tell them, look, if somebody from this company calls or you need something from this company, that has to come through me now That's because right. of this. Yep. And they may need to step it up and cover you because you're going to yeah. be out of the office or not yeah. to be you know, on site, whatever it is. True. So you'll have to have maybe your managers are going to have to take over some parts of the business that you were doing. Um, you know, and in addition to your, your employees, uh, you know, getting sued, you know, or suing someone else, it could impact your other relationships. Particularly yep. if you're going to get sued, if you're doing any sort of like, let's say you are uh, uh, re-upping your, you know, your line of credit, you know, you're, you're maybe they're set, setting it up a year later or whatever, and you've, you've got to go ahead and reapply again and renew it. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, <laughs> I, right. knew, I knew it was out there somewhere. <laughs> uh, renew, <laughs> renewing your line of credit with your bank or something like that. Well, they have to know you are obligated to tell them if you're being sued. So rather than check a box on a, on a form you're sending to some committee that doesn't know you, you better call, call your bank or in, and talk to your banking relationship person and say, Hey, I want to let you know about this. Let me give you some backstory. You know, we are, of course, we haven't done anything wrong. Yep. Um, Everybody we had says a case, that. Yep. Yeah. We had a case before where we had, uh, provided a bunch of computers uh, for a design company. And uh, it was on a lease. I think it was through GE Capital. It was a bunch of Apple stuff. It was awesome. And we went up and we set everything up. And they were, they were a, it was a pretty large deal. I think it was, I don't know, 80 or 90 grand worth of, of systems. Yep. Uh, Quark Express, all that great stuff wow. back in the Old back school. in the day. <laughs> That's right. I'm dating myself. Anyway, so they eventually, uh, I believe, went out of business And the leasing company wound up suing them for the rest of the money that was due on the equipment. And they just blanket sued anybody and everybody that was involved in uh, getting the equipment for them, whether it was the software consultants we had recommended us that provided the equipment the through through I think it was GE Capital at the time. And so it, it was just one of those things where we were so far removed from what was going on, but I had to tell the bank, Hey guys, you know, we're getting sued. Let me tell you, there's nothing to it. Um, you know, we did this, we did everything we were supposed to do. And they looked at it and said, okay, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, but you want to have yeah, that conversation. That front. Way, yeah. You, you can get ahead of it as opposed to them calling yeah. you and saying, Shannon, we hear you're, uh, 
being sued. Correct. And it's been going on for six months. Want to? Uh, yes. Want to fill us in? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you yeah. say anything? Yeah. Why didn't you say yeah. Anything? It erodes so, that you know, trust. Yeah, that's right. So you want to have a, a conversation with them, you you know, just like you want to talk to there may be some other business partners you need to let know. Yep. Certainly, you know, we talk about your employees. But what about your spouse? You know, you need to have that oh, conversation. Yeah. Uh, so oh, they're yeah. on board if you're going to have extra stress in your life. And, and uh, the, you know, having that support system in place when you have to go through something like this is really important. And your support from your employees, your partners, bankers, your attorney, your your spouse, all that stuff can make or break you during what can be a very harrowing experience, I'm yeah. telling you. Um, you'll and come so, out on the other side, though. You'll be you will. good. It'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. You'll And, yep. you know, then then you'll be like us. You talk about it like it's not <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Stuff that's right. Happens. Just remember, they're they're not the they are not the defining points of your life. You just have to power through. Like you, well, you else. have to decide that they are not. Yeah, I, right. I mean, they can they can be. It, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, but but that's up to you. You get to pick what yeah. what you choose to de, to define yourself. And, and sometimes something very positive can totally. come out of it, oh, and yeah. you can you can connect with people when they realize there's a mutual beneficial thing, and yep. you know, hey. You know, we're we were going to sue you, but maybe now we'll buy you. Yeah. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. Right. You just never know. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's just a uh, we we barely covered it here, but it's just to get, to get you started and to give you a few resources and tips on what to do if you you think you want to go after somebody or somebody's you know coming after you and how to respond and certainly reach out to your accountant. You know, Nolo Press is a great resource for small business owners um, that will they have lots of you know online stuff about handling lawsuits by yourself if you want to, uh, or, you know, what, just what to do when things happen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you'll power through it. Yeah. You'll power through, but, yeah. but just remember, keep your eye on the ball with the rest of your business. That's the important yeah. part. It's the hardest yeah. thing to do. It is the hardest thing I think to do. So. Yep. Yeah. Certainly yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Awesome. All right. Well, that's, uh, that was heavy enough for a week here, man. <laughs> it was <laughs> as we roll it. We'll get this out of the way before the holidays, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Folks, make sure to go visit Storyblocks, S-T-O-R-Y-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash S-B-S. Get yourself that special triple bundle deal. Uh, Visit us, businessshow.co, right? You can find out everything there. If you go to businessshow.co slash Facebook, uh, that will get you to our small business support group, which is a great place to check out. Yeah, come talk to us. Give us your horror stories and your success stories with this stuff. Living that charmed life, folks. Take it easy.